Hello. I built a cheap, quick access French cleat pliers holder that holds a ton of pliers in a very small space. It's all of your pliers whenever you need them, anywhere you have French cleats. As you can tell from watching our other build videos, we have a lot of French cleats up in our shop. We kind of like them. And I'm making a video for most of the individual tool holders that I've made because I think it might be helpful. Well, today we're talking about the pliers holder. I like my tools to be close at hand and easily accessible, both because it helps me move faster and also because I'm lazy. I don't like to go digging around trying to find stuff if I'm trying to work on something. This allows me to focus on things like the doomsday device I'm disarming instead of risking the safety of the world, wasting time wondering where my pliers are. <sighs> this pliers rack is only seven and a half inches wide, but it holds more than 20 pliers that are super easy to get out, and it only takes seven pieces of wood to make it. So it's time to cut the seven pieces of wood that we'll use to make our French cleat plier rack. The pieces are the back, the French cleat itself, the left and right sides for our plier rack, and then three dividers that we're going to hang things on. All pieces are a quarter of an inch thick and the back is seven and a half inches wide by seven inches tall. The French cleat is seven and a half inches wide. Whatever version of French cleat you use, it needs to be that wide. Left and right sides are four and a half inches wide and seven inches tall. We'll talk about the other measurements later three dividers are all six and three quarters inches wide. The first one's two and a half inches tall. Second one is three and a quarter inches tall. And the last one is five inches tall. Let's zoom in on those side pieces to get those extra measurements you'll need. This is basically a rectangle with the corner cut off. Easy to do. Once you cut your side pieces, draw a line on the inside of both one inch from the back and a second line two and a quarter inches from the back. We'll use these later. Now a lot of us with wood shops have rad nailers like this one that we can use to assemble structures like this very quickly. But a lot of people don't have rad nailers. I didn't have this one until recently and I use glue to put together most of my things. So if you've got a brad nailer, great. You can use it on something like this. I'm gonna put this one together with glue to show you that there's more than one way to build a French cleat rack. The first step in the build is to glue the left side to the backer board. That is the entire first step because we're going to wait for this glue to dry before we put on anything else. It gives us a strong side to build on. Later that same evening... With the back and left side of the tool mount now glued and secure, we're going to use those lines we drew earlier to glue in our three dividers. You want one inch spacing between each one of the dividers, so use those lines to set the distance. Glue the dividers in place, and then glue the right side on. And if you have clamps, now is the time. Moments later. We happen to have a few clamps in our shop, so this is all clamped up for safety. And since everything else is being glued together, the French cleat is also glued to the back of the tool stand. That's all seven pieces. Now we wait. The next day... Everything's done. It's time to remove the clamps and get to work hanging pliers. Okay, let's go. So that's it for the French cleat plier holder that holds all my pliers up there on the French cleats. Thanks to our wonderful patrons who make projects like this and the larger projects possible. You help us do what we do, so many thanks. I'm going to keep making French cleat tool holder videos until I finish building out the shop, which may take a while, but I also use these tools to like make things, not just hang stuff on the wall to make the tool shop look nice. So if you want to see some build videos, check out our other stuff. It's lots of fun. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and ring that bell so you won't miss an upload, which are fairly frequent as we build things. Well, that's all I got for you today. Go build you a plier tool rack. <laughs>